yeah, just uh, first of all, just uh, glad to get the victory today. Um, giving God the glory for 25 and two and uh, 13 and one. And uh, these games aren't getting any easier. Really want to commend Stephanie and her staff, um, Coach White and her staff, those kids. Man, they really played well today. They're finally getting healthy, and uh, they really competed. I just was so impressed with them. I knew they were getting better on film. They had unbelievable travel issues getting here with the tornado yesterday in Columbus and had to stay in Tupelo last night and bus in this morning and just really impressed with this there approach and how hard they played and uh, just competitive fire. I just thought that uh, her team was really, really tough today. Showed a lot of toughness and um, and so, you know, for us, we, uh, you know, we, we kind of started out a little slow and a little flat footed and uh, picked it up a little bit toward the end of the half. Um, certainly uh, love what we're doing offensively in the second half with 48 points, but uh, Certainly concerned defensively and uh, giving up 70 points. Um, you know, 23 turnovers caused is a good thing. 10 steals. Jazz had five. You know, that's a pretty impressive stat line. Six assists, no turnovers, five steals in uh, 28 minutes. And, um, you know, I just thought her energy when she brought it was contagious to my team and uh, was contagious in the arena. And that arena out there doesn't get loud when you make a three. It gets loud when you get a defensive stop, you get a steal, you get a block shot. Um, that's when it gets loud in there. And, uh, you know, we, didn't have, we haven't had a lot of that lately. And um, today's no different. But when we finally did today, I, I thought that, uh, you know, our crowd was just tremendous, as always. Um, what we have, 9,500. And, um, again, just a special, special atmosphere. So appreciate our fans being there. Proud of our kids for getting through a, a, a challenging day. Again, 86 points, I, I really uh, I like that. I like getting to the line 26 times. That shows a degree of uh, competitiveness. And uh, But we got to make more than we made today. We only uh, made 69%. So I'll have to talk to the free throw coach about that. Uh, for good the to player. see you, Adam. Oh, good to see you guys, too. Thank you. Um, <laughs> for the players, can, can you talk about the – the kind of the yin and yang of turning them over 23 times and them shooting 56.9%. It seems like kind of polar extremes of being aggressive on defense at times and then, um, you know, maybe not not being as aggressive on defense to affect them as much as you guys would have liked. Well, I think in the beginning of the game, um, we didn't come out aggressive defensively like we should have. They they scored every time they came down. Um, if we didn't get a turnover on them, so like you said, like it was yin yang. Um, but we just have to be able to continuously play defense all the time and not just sometimes. Um, and we got to work on that. Vic, to to Adam's point, to turn teams over like that and then give up the the high percentage, which has happened a couple of times this year. And Georgia did it for three quarters. South Carolina, uh, Ole Miss's yards had some success as well. What do you see that's that's kind of the issue there that's allowing teams to shoot at high percentage? Is it just is it maybe the, the over aggressiveness or what what do you kind of see from that? Well I mean you had a five player today go thirteen for sixteen and uh the point guard was a little bit difficult to defend. She went five for ten. Um you know their their two guard goes five for eight from three, six for fourteen from the floor. So they're starting, you know, one their starting point guard, their their uh, starting two guard, and their starting five went 24 for 40, and uh, you know it's we we don't typically have those issues, but that's uh, 30, 29, 31, 41, 40. That's 58 points of their 70 was three players. So um, you know, just uh, again, uh, I've got to do a better job coaching. I think at the end of the day, it comes back to uh, the preparation of your players and. Uh, you know, our inability to defend certain things, um, you know, I've got to do a better job coaching and teaching and getting these, getting them back to playing uh, the way we're capable of playing. I, I, uh, you know, uh, part of it's technique, part of it's, you know, I think we got to play a little harder. You know, I, I look out there sometimes and wonder where's my team that was at LSU 
that first half. You know, where, where's that team? Because uh, that team that day was really, really special, defensively tough, you know, swarming, just uh, doing a great job taking things away. And, uh, you know, we, we just, we've kind of gotten away from that. And again, that falls back on me. Um, Coach, you said games aren't getting any easier, but your team has scored 20, you have three players who scored 20 points. Um, how do you feel about that and your offense? Well, I'm, again, I'm pleased with the 86. If we'd have shot free throws like we typically do, it would have been 90. Um, you know, uh, I'm really pleased that we only turned it over five times. I think all those are great numbers, 86 points, only five turnovers. Three kids with 20 plus. I don't think that's been done since '99. Somebody told me, and so that's great. I'd, I'd rather have five kids in double figures and a little more balance. And but um, you know, it was those are all big numbers now. Nine for 16, nine for 14, seven for 11. You throw Jazz in there, three for six. That's four of my five starters uh, that shot a pretty high percentage, just like their starters did. So. Offensively, really, you know, really happy with with what we did and, and uh, some of the things. I, th I still think we we uh, have some wasted possessions where we're not tough enough with the ball or we shoot one too quick. And uh, but uh, the percentages are all really really good. It's just uh, defensively, you know. I think uh, if we go back and look at the seventy points we gave up, and we start looking, you know, well, okay, I got this. I scored this many. I mean, I give up. You know, some of it's a trade-off. Andy, you have uh, a couple of 20-point games in the last three games. Just how comfortable do you feel like you're you're starting to get in this offense that's allowing you to, to put up the big numbers the last couple of time, uh, games? Yeah, definitely. Um, as you said, over the past couple of games, I've started to get more comfortable. I'm talking to Chloe a little bit um, when we're at home and just kind of like talking to her after games, and she tells me what I need to hear. She um, gives me advice from when she was on the court and stuff. And like I always say, it goes back to my teammates and my coaches. Their confidence in me helps me, um, helps my own confidence. So I give all the credit to them, really. To you, uh, it in induced one of the biggest cheers of the afternoon when you managed to block the shot and you had flung your sneaker against the backboard, uh, not the backboard, the stanchion, I guess. Can you take us through that play about when you lost it, you still were able to score, and then you were kind of bringing it down the court, and then you finally flung it, and then the drive where you reached over and, and were able to block the shot? Yeah, when I went up, I came out of it, and I thought I had time to put it back on, but I realized I didn't. So I just grabbed the shoe and I ran down the court, and I was like, well, I don't have time to put either one of them on. So I tried to rip my ankle brace off, threw the ankle brace, and still had the shoe. By that time, <laughs> they were all the three point line, so I just threw the shoe. And then I was sliding, and she was going up, and then I just locked it on the slide, so I just went into it. Yes. That's all right there. Can you um, maybe elaborate on Coach's point about um, the defense and there were times when you guys forced, I think, four turnovers and you had that 10-0 run to really get some separation and then to what he was talking about, you know, them getting some easier looks, uh, taking the ball to the basket. What, what do you think that you guys have to do defensively to maybe affect teams more and maybe turn them over or have them shoot lower percentages? Um, like you said, play harder and be more consistent. I mean, we do take plays off on defense. You know, sometimes you'll have everyone in the press, and then sometimes you have three, and then two not doing their job, or vice versa. I mean, we all just have to be consistent. We know what he wants. 